The Book of Sirach, Chapter 22. A slow man is stoned in a stone of clay, and all men shall speak on the despising of him. Verse 2. A slow man is stoned of the dung of oxes, and each man that touches him shall shake the hands. 3. The shame of a father is of a son unlearned, but a fond daughter shall be in decreasing. 4. The prudent daughter is heritage to her husband, for she that shendeth her husband is in despising of the father. 5. A shameless woman shendeth the father and husband, and shall not be made less than unfaithful men, for so as she shall not be honored of ever either. 6. Melody and mourning is uncovenable telling, beatings and teachings in all time with wisdom. Verse 7. He that teacheth a fool as he that glueth together a tile stone. 8. He that telleth a word to him that heareth not is as he that raiseth a man sleeping from a grievous sleep. Verse 9. He that telleth wisdom to a fool speaketh with a man sleeping. And in the end of the telling he shall say, Who is this? Verse 10. Weep thou on a dead man, for why his light failed? And weep thou on a fool, for he failed of wit. Verse 11. Weep thou little on a dead man, for he hath rested. Verse 12. For so at the life of a full wicked man is full wicked, more than the death of a fool. Verse 13. The morning of a dead man is seven days, but the morning of a fool and of a wicked man is all the days of their life. 14. Speak thou not much with a fool, and go thou not with an unwise man. 15. Keep thou from him, that thou have not disease, and thou shalt not be defiled in the sin of him. 16. Bow thou away from him, and thou shalt find rest, and be thou not annoyed by his folly. 17. What shall be made heavier than lead, and what other name than a fool is to it? 18. It is lighter to bear gravel and salt and a goblet of iron than a man unprudent and a fool and unfaithful. Verse 19. As an heap of trees bounden together in the fundament of the building shall not be unbounden, so an heart confirmed in the thought of counsel. Verse 20. The thought of a wise man shall not be made shrewd in any time, neither dread. 21. As chaffs in high places, and sound without meddling of him, set against the face of wind, shall and not dwell. 22. So and a dreadful heart in the thought of a fool, and standeth not, and the fierceness of dread. Verse 23. As honoring, either pargetting, full of gravel in a clear wall, so an fertful heart in the thought of a fool shall not dread in any time. So and he that dwelleth ever in the east of God. Verse 24. He that pricketh the eye shall lead out tears, and he that pricketh the heart bringeth forth wit. Verse 25. He that casteth a stone to birds shall cast down, though. So and he that doth wrong to a friend departeth friendship. 26. Though thou bringest forth a sword to a friend, despair thou not, for there is going again to the friend. 27. If he openeth a sorrowful mouth, dread thou not, for why there is a courting, outtaken despising, and shenship, and pride, and showing of privity, and a treacherous wound, in all these things a friend shall flee away. Verse 28. Have thou faith with a friend in his poverty, that thou be glad also in his goods. 29. In the time of his tribulation dwell thou faithful to him, that also thou be even heir in the heritage of him. Verse 30. Heat and smoke of fire is made high before the fire of a chimney. So in cursings and despisings and menaces come in before blood. Verse 31. I shall not be ashamed for to greet a friend, and I shall not hide me from his face. Though evils come unto me by him, I shall suffer. Verse 32. Each man that shall hear shall keep warily himself from him. Verse 33. 
Who shall give keeping to my mouth, and a certain sealing on my lips, that I fall not by though, and that my tongue least not me? John chapter 22.